Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a quiche from stuff I had in my pantry and freezer. You'll need one pie crust, eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, five eggs, one cup of whole milk or half and half, half cup of diced ham, two sliced scallions, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of honey mustard, salt, and pepper. The first thing you'll do is combine about half a cup of cheese with one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Then you'll add the cheese and flour mixture to a pre-baked pie crust, which was baked for about five minutes at 400 degrees. For the filling, you'll combine the diced ham with two tablespoons of honey mustard and mix it thoroughly to combine. Then you'll take that mixture and spread it over the cheese and flour mixture that is already in the pie crust. Using the same bowl, you'll add the eggs, heavy cream or milk, remaining flour, scallions, pinch of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. Those of you with a keen eye may have noticed that I have six eggs in my bowl. Don't do that. Five eggs is all you'll need, and you'll see here pretty soon why that was a problem. Now whisk or beat the mixture thoroughly with an electric mixer. Now carefully pour the egg mixture into the crust. Don't make the same mistake I did and place your pie crust on a sheet pan before you fill it. I'm pretty happy with that until now. Of course, once I started adding the cheese, I saw that I had way too much egg mixture, so I did actually remove some of the egg mixture before adding the cheese. Now place it in your oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Now you can see the weird thing that happened because I overfilled my pie crust. And here's my plate. I just served it with some frozen broccoli that I had on hand. This was the best quiche I've ever made, just from a few simple ingredients that I had in my pantry and freezer. I'm very happy with it. I hope you'll give it a try. If you do, please give me a comment and uh, let me know how it turned out for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.